games already in the books in this series, we can only expect the intensity to continue to ramp up in game number three. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Moves the puck along the half wall. Makes a save, but barely with that one. Allen's ready to go on the attack. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a chance. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Big Bear is going to play it from the back of the cage. Nowhere for that shot to go through. The steel heads cross the blue line and are on the attack. The Americans take possession in the defensive end. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Grabs control of it on the corner. Turns it aside. Scooped up along the wall by O'Bear. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Well, he has been under siege and loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Allen's won the defensive zone draw. And he takes the dish. And he's pulled over the ice and loses the puck. Sends the feet in front. a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him, because he can't see it. Idaho's got the game's first goal here in the first, and perfect road approach, right? Silence the crowd, Cheryl. Well, yeah, and you gotta start with some energy, and you gotta get your lines into the game right away, and that's exactly what they did. They were like a wave of momentum, and they capitalized on their opportunity. The steel hits will play it in their own end. From the left wing, takes the feed. Fires it oh, away! Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done! Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. They're striking quickly. Two goals in 50 seconds, James. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. Idaho's been very impressive to watch in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in the first. Play resumes as the puck is dropped. Gagnon's got it along the wing. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Idaho's got the puck at center. Quick feed to Merchant. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Idaho's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. Has dropped and we are back underway. And he's knocked off the puck there. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Here's a short pass to White. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. There's the whistle. We got an offside. 
We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Steelheads now lead by three. And off the draw, they take the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Well, the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. Idaho sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Hammers a shot! That goes wide! Hey, Bears got it in the defensive end. Idaho's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Oh, he gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Idaho's gained possession along the boards. And makes the save. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Looking to clear from their own end. And they finally get off their heels and get it out. Being on the power play is a privilege. Uh -huh. Trust me, I know I was never on it, always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. The Americans are getting taken to lunch here. They're going to have to find some mojo and some pushback if they want to get back in this game. Gains control of the puck here on the blue line. Broken up in the neutral zone. Oh, what a chance right there, but misses. Well, creativity and good body positioning opens up that lane, but just sails it over. Denies him in close. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Idaho's offense has been on fire to start this one. It's still lots of time left in the first. The steel hits win the draw. Feeds the puck over to McCallum. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Allen's got control of it now from their own end. The Americans looking against the half wall. Scooped into the trapper by Thompson. Idaho's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. The Americans win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Thompson. Cut is tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Denied that one. Puck picked up by Keeler. And now it's grabbed by McCallum. And the puck's booted away. Let's get the official decision. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. The Steel Hits once again send out their power play unit. Though they haven't scored on the power play yet, man, it is a tough thing to do. And this is an urge opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Looking to break out here on the power play. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Moves it to Murphy. Comes up with the stop. zone draw. Puck grabbed by Walker. The Americans played along the wing. Scrum ensues along the boards. Sends it in front. Another pass. And another pass. Oh, and he keeps it here. Puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it again. Takes the feed. Moves into the slot. Grabs possession of the puck. With the blast, denies him with the save. Steps into the offensive end. Moves it to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. Here's a chance. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one.
The Steelheads wanted to generate a lot of offense going into this one. They have succeeded in that game plan already here late in the first. Quick pass to Farmer. Glove save, somehow got a piece of it. Thompson's made a great quality shot look easy. I mean, he is so efficient. He's dialed in, he tracks, and he makes the save. The Steel Hits are holding down the lead here late in this first period. They have looked really good offensively so far. Merchants running off the face off. The Steel Hits are in transition. Sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. In the final moments of this period, 4-0 is where we sit. This has been a very, very one-sided contest. The Americans take possession off the faceoff. That one misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you've got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Farmer's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Fires it. Let's see what the officials say. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. The Americans get their man advantage in and out there for the first time tonight. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Stars on the man and finish and put one home. And this is exactly why you spend so much time in practice working on specialty teams, James. You can see that good movement to open up lanes, just disrupt the box there, and they're able to cash it in. One of the toughest things to do is get in and get entry. And when you already have a face-off in the offensive zone, you got to find a way to execute on the power play. You know, it's one of the most difficult things to do, but when you win possession, you can get the setup. You can get the look that you want, and that's what happened here. The Steel Hits already lead it by a significant margin here late in this first period. The Americans take possession after that neutral zone face-off. Takes a shot, denied with the leather by Thompson. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his piece and make a save from a high danger area. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. The Americans win the faceoff. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Thompson. The buzzer that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. Open the savings account this month at FayBank and get access to team press conferences, practice, or locker room tours. It's absolutely free. Both teams back on the ice are lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Idaho's really overwhelmed their opponent. I mean, every player on the bench, when they jump over, their feet are moving, they're urgent, and they're quick on the puck. I mean, they're trading turnovers and capitalizing on their opportunities. The Steel Hits have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And somehow he hangs on. Great reach with the poke check. Slick feed. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The steel hits are getting penalized for slashing. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Trying to exit the defensive zone. Moves it to the middle! And that's deflected off someone in front. Takes the puck at the point. Takes the feed. 
Moves it quickly over to Farmer. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. They get it out of the defensive end. Quick feed to Farmer. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Quick pass to Ernie. Idaho's PK unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength. Point blank stop by Sinclair! When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's a 4-1 game. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Allen's crossed the line and on the attack. Denies him in front. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Wrist shot from the slot. Fantastic save. Thompson's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Again, the denial by the goaltender. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back-to-back. -back. Still lots of time left in the period. The Steel Hits are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4-1. The Steel Hits look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace and they're dictating the play all over the ice. And then they're executing on their opportunities. It's the reason why they hold the lead. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Merchant. The Americans take it along the wing. Handles the puck. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Puck scooped up by Rogidu. Into the corner of the attacking area. Huge steal on his own end. And will get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. The Americans will start off on the attack after winning the draw. McCallum's got the puck in his own zone. On the attack, they come down the right wing. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. They'll have a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Puck scooped up against the wall. Possession in their own end. Right up the gut, here they go. Change up, change up. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And he takes the feed. Slides the puck over. Oh, I thought he had the corner and just missed. Well, it looked like he did. You can just see that inside leg just bare down the bottom hand as well. Amen. 
through center right now in the offensive end. And loses possession after a solid hit. Keeler stick handling in his own zone. And here at center, that's intercepted. Coming to the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Hammers one at the net. Too much congestion in front. Here's a shot. There's a great save and an excellent chance there. And he turns that one aside. When that shot came quick and it was right out front, he had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The steel hits are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. The Americans send their man advantage unit out once more. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they clear that puck. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Merchants gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Steelheads win that offensive zone face-off. Wide the net. You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on that. Not good enough. Pokes it away in his own end. Trying to clear. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. The, the Americans take it across the line. Idaho's oh, back to even strength as they killed off the penalty. Well, even when you're on a power play, you have more time and space, but you have to have urgency, and there is none on that PP sequence. This group has to figure out a way to generate. The Steel Hits are in complete control of this one. Based on the scoreboard, they have been the more active team offensively all night. Stones them in front. Idaho's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Centering feed! Scores! What a finish on the play! You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still circles in. They continue to lead here late in this middle frame. Good heads up. He's got a little jump. All alone. Can't get that one to go. That's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and then you get nothing in return. A missed opportunity. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Oh, he caught him. Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the board. It's a bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Each fan receives a limited edition player's t-shirt. Fans, don't forget to purchase your player t-shirt tonight only at our team store. Everyone, both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. They've dropped the puck here in the third, and it's been a blowout thus far. Let's see if there's any sort of response. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Steelheads have a comfortable lead here in the third period, James. They do not have to change a thing. Don't alter the game plan. Just close it out. Stop by the goal. 
goaltender. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out on top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. The steel hits gain possession along the wall. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Steelheads have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. They win the faceoff here in their own end to take possession. Solid check to slow him down. Idaho's got the puck against the boards. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Allen's got a hold of the puck. Here they come on the attack. Sends it over. Rooney puts it away. A risky play, but it pays off. Thompson's going to wait for the whistle, and I don't mind this strategy here, Cheryl. Me neither. I mean, he's having himself a game, isn't he, James? He has been dominant between the pipes, and he knows he needs to pounce on this puck. He looks up at the game clock. They're winning. Not much time left in the third. got to figure out a way to play it safe. And they keep the pressure on. Sends a pass over. Taken by Thompson. Great pressure with the stick. Here's a short pass to McCullough. Stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. And they'll go the other way with it. Great play by Keeler. Great read with the stick. Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra tapper on the ice. The Americans carry it along the wall. Takes a shot. Blocked in front. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And here comes the judgment from the official. Keeler's been nabbed for tripping. puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. They move the puck out of harm's way. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. The steel hits have it now. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Allen's got a five on three and lots of time on their side. In a five on three, you have advantages all over the ice in the offensive zone, but you still can move. You can move and isolate players. When you do this, you create movement, more opportunity. That's exactly what you have to do. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Idaho's got possession while undermanned. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Keeler's back out onto the ice, and they will continue to play shorthanded here. On their heels, trying to clear. Gets it out of his own end. The Americans don't have time on their side with this power play running out. The man advantage is over. In the game of hockey, you can't worry about what happened on your last PK. You gotta get out there and you gotta find a way to do it. Otherwise, the coach is gonna put another unit out there. And a strong effort on that play. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Oh, he denies him on the one-timer. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Takes the pass. Oh, textbook put check to turn that over. And the puck's knocked loose. Jarvis has it in the defensive end. And that's off a stick. Ernie's gaining momentum. Here's a shot. Takes the feed from the left side. Moves it to Brodzinski. Gives him nothing in front. 
Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Idaho's got possession here in their own end. Quick pass to Merchant. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Moves it quickly over to Miller. Allen's got possession here in the neutral zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, a true warrior to block that. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Moves inside! Gets a club on it to keep it out. And serves up a little knock on the play. Quick feed to Miller. Shot! And that's blocked away. The Americans have the puck now. Reaches out and uses the stick. Oh, and that goes wide! The Americans haven't been able to make good on the opportunities they've created for themselves. They've had a lot of puck possession and been strong in this game, but haven't been able to finish. Takes it across the blue line. Puts it on net, right off the side of the net. The Americans gain control of the puck. Poked away. Picked up along the wall by Robidoux. Idaho's got the puck now. Murphy's taking it from his own end. Gives him a choke with his head. Cuts up possession of the puck. Drives it in his own end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. The steel heads take it along the wall. In close. Oh, he got all of it. What a save by Sinclair. Stop that one. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And mercifully down just seconds left in this one. Change up, change up. Dishes it to Gagnon. Delayed penalty looming. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, the penalty's inconsequential. Uh, they've been dominant all game, and just have a look at the scoreboard. This one's over.